Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you're not aware of the Chatterbox, I have the Chatterbox, which is a paid channel membership. It is two different levels. Um, there is the Chatters, which is for $1.99 a month. And that uh, include updates and exclusive video content and then there is the next level Lola's which is the next tier which is four dollars and ninety nine cents a month and that includes live streams and also more content video content um, some vlogging a little bit of everything actually is on that 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 level um, but most importantly, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Today I am here with Baby Pascal. Um, he is the Joanna Kasmarak Pacheca. <laughs> I love butchering people names. Um, anyway, he is my Tariq. <laughs> Um, painted by me and rooted by my rooter. So I am going to get him out of this outfit as cute as it is. The thing is with me, something is very, very weird about me is that I only like my babies in these outfits for pictures. And like if I'm going to just leave him or if I'm you know people are coming over or something which nobody comes over but if I was like coming over or maybe if I wanted to dress all the babies up for you know the nursery tour I might would put him in something like this um, but for me I do not like bond well with my babies in these type clothes so <clears throat> I have to put them in something more baby more relaxed in order for me to really be like oh like that type thing so i don't know i'm thinking about putting him on just like this sleeper or i really like this it's kind of a vintage look um onesie it's old it's a uh, child of mine's made by carter I don't know. So let's see. Because I think he'll look good in this, in this color. And it will make him look baby baby. But yeah. I love this outfit though. I love love love. So you'll see him in this again. Um, I really do. I really love it. But I just. <laughs> I'm like oh he's so cute. But I was like I don't want to. Like pick him up or that type thing um when I <laughs> when I had him laying here and he was just in a bib and a diaper I couldn't stop coming in here just to look at him it's so weird how that works um it kind of helps me a little bit in some ways because I don't feel inclined to buy a lot of these type outfits which are very expensive. Um, so it works for me because I invest a lot of money <laughs> in my actual dolls and so I don't need to have an expensive clothing uh, addiction too. Because then I'll be in trouble, trouble, trouble. I have to keep a, keep a, keep a nice little balance <laughs> on what I'm going to choose to spend my money on. Alright, so take this little hat off. And actually, he looked really cute in his bonnet. His hair is probably going to be messed up now. But that's okay. Um... Yeah, he looked actually really cute. I didn't know how he was going to look in the bonnet. But it worked. 
it worked I like I like I actually would get this in like a different color just to have multiples of it it looks so cute in, in it so yeah I'm like but you gotta come out of that because I've had enough <laughs> I've had enough. So, I spent the last couple days finishing up a baby that it's already been reserved though. Um, I <clears throat> did a little bit of painting on it on video in the next level and so I made it available before it was completely finished. So now I'm just texturing it which was a Lanny by Olga Arum. So I spent my last few days finishing that up and <clears throat> finishing up the next baby that I'm going to have available. And the fun part is that I spent was time I don't want to put him in that for some reason versus this. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him in this. I um I spent time chasing down um some more varnish so that I can have it because Genesis is going out of business. And I just want to have enough product stocked up to last me for about at least a year so that I can still work with Genesis while um, I, I won't say that I won't try one of the products and start working on to see how it go. But I want to maybe paint a baby that's for my personal collection so that I can see how how it holds up and all that stuff before you know using it for babies to sell so I want to have enough paints to use you know Genesis while everybody kinda you know we learn and experiment on the Genesis I mean uh, the whatever the new replacement is gonna be um, I'm very confident that if anyone's going to crack the code, it's going to be a bountiful baby. Um, just simply because they have the money and the resources to do it. So I feel like they'll be the first ones to really find something that's very comparable to Genesis. If not, if they don't end up buying the formula, which I don't understand if they're going out of business. Why don't they just sell the formula to someone else? But maybe they're going to use it in something else. I don't know. But, yeah. So, um, I think Mac Pherson will come behind it, behind them. But, they, uh, you know, Bountiful Baby, I think, has the most money and resources, in my opinion. The only problem is, is that we're going to need... We're going to have to hope that MacPherson and Irresistibles and all the others catch up and have a competitive formula or the same formula as well. Or we're going to deal with a lot of price gouging because it was ridiculous how Bountiful Baby jacked up the price on that matte varnish um, before they took it off the shelf. They, they literally was charging $29.95 for a jar that used to be like, I don't know, something like $7.99 or something like that. It was ridiculous. So, yeah, not really feeling that. So I, I do hope that other people come with something um, comparable so we don't have to pay those high prices like that because, yeah. I like him on the pacifier too. I'll turn his head so you guys can see him. But yeah, because I, I don't want them to just have 
the key to it and I saw where they posted even they said something like yeah we we're almost there with being able to launch it um we got to figure out the price and all and it's like seriously people so be prepared for high prices so that's why I said let me get what I got what I can give this thing a time to like settle down so like this is him without it uh, all right guys that is it let me know in the comments what you guys think and I will be glad to listen I'm gonna try to get back in the rhythm of being able to actually reply to everyone versus just hearten your comments as I read them but it's kind of hard to keep up with all the platforms and stuff but just know that I always read your comments I always appreciate it and I do sometimes take some of what you say and you know add it into another video um, especially if you have a question and it's something that I feel like will do better me answering in a uh, in the in a video so all right guys thanks for watching bye bye